Hey, welcome back again, viewers and subscribers. This moment, I want to be speaking to you on the stinging nettle or horse nettle, as this variety um, is also called Ortica diosa, and uh, it's well known for giving um, that sting, as we word implies, um, words imply stinging nettle. Sting, um, this is due to the trichomes, right? Um, all what you call the bristle here is of the plant, uh, which act like a, a needle in injecting an uh, irritant substance under the skin. When um, touched, I remember when I was in the UK, the ones up there, right? You can't even touch them with your, your fingers in the palm of your hand, they'll, they'll start stinging you. Those, those, those Roman, Roman nettles, which um, they said that um, the Romans, when they came to England, the place was so cold that they had to use uh, the sting net, the nettles to, to keep themselves warm and it's quite interesting again that traditionally from from what um i was um taught in a master horribles course that i that i did that traditionally the um, way to treat arthritis was to sting the area with the nettle right um this will help circulation um to the area increasing our perf perfusion tissue perfusion Quite uh, amazing, but this one, horse nettle, I don't know why you call it horse nettle really, maybe it's because it's a bigger one, it's a bigger one, I know this one, and the small stinging nettle, along with uh, Mimosa pudica, which is a sensitive plant, a touch me not plant, um, the old folks have um, traditionally used that to treat um, prostate issues, prostate um, swelling, you combine the three of them together, the big one, big stinging nettle, small one. And Mimosa pudica, and this plant is used um, to treat all conditions related to the blood and blood circulation, blood circulation, especially anemia, and it was widely used by baby mothers for increasing breast milk, even women who are slimming. And that's the thing with stinging nettle. Um, it's also used um, as a galactagog, right, um, which helps with lactation in um. In mothers and breastfeeding mothers just like uh, moringa the moringa plant also is a galactagog right? and it's also um useful for kidney and bladder problems the leaves stop bleeding act as coagulants and the juice as a a hair tonic also uh, helps with nail growth hay fever nasal inflammation and upper respiratory tract in infections right. so that's it right there um, really would need to take a picture of this and then um, look it up um, on the internet and see what a variety of nettle this is. I know they usually call it horse nettle, right? but I need to look it up on the internet and see, take a picture of it and see, do some more research. Right? So um, you want a cheap um, tonic, natural, this thing of nettle, it's definitely what um, you need. It can even be cooked um, make soup yeah it's quite a delicacy quite a delicacy we have a little one down here again all where these potatoes are that um, have been cultivated planted yeah this is a little one again little one right here yeah um, were quite a few of them here when I was cultivating um, this um, area here and I was cultivating this area here. And, um, a few of them I took home and have um, have used. I see another small one there. This thing is quite uh, hot, very very hot. Right. So that's stinging it for you. All right, thanks again for watching.